I was horrified at the leaking of the video about uh, the tarnished. I think it was utterly unacceptable. It was a gross invasion of his private life and it and it's something that shouldn't shouldn't happen and I think Ian's right about anonymity and I think that actually is a crucial point because you can't sue for libel or defamation if you don't know who you're suing so people can hide behind anonymity on social media and that's mm. what has made it pernicious now you know I'm somebody who uses Twitter there's a, you know there's there can be a huge democracy too to social media mm. and we've seen it used for very positive purposes as well mm. but undoubtedly the lack of requirement for verification has been a problem in terms of uh, regulation of social media and preventing harms. Brendan Howland, my Labour colleague, actually brought forward Coco's Law, one of the reforms we've seen. And we do, we do need law. Here I disagree with Ian. We do need laws to regulate social media. The Coco's Law um, initiative was important because it has created new criminal offences around sharing of, of images yeah, online and so on. It's quite specific, though. It's quite it's, narrow, yeah. isn't it? And that's why, we, that's why we also need mm. the Online Safety Act that Alex is talking about, that the President just signed into law recently, because that brings us the civil side, the new online safety Commissioner, the power to bring in the media codes and, in, uh, and, and to ensure in particular that we're going to see takedown because a lot of the time what people want to see is the taking down of the images, the taking down of, it, the, of yeah. the harmful and abusive content.